What's up traders? Welcome to another section of the Greatness Forest Academy. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Confluence 101.1. In our last video, we talked about Confluence 101, where I introduced the topic to you, Confluence. Now, without wasting much of your time, let's get straight into the charts and see how to apply Confluence using multi time frame analysis. Okay, here we are in the chat. Now let's pick any pair from here and do a multi time frame analysis using Confluence. Okay, let's pick um okay, let's pick NZD USD. Let's pick this pair. Okay, let's take up this watch list. Now, in my last video, I talked about Confluence 101, where I told you about Confluence, how to use Confluence, and I gave you some tools you use together with a multi time frame analysis for a good Confluence so as to be in a better side and make money with the big banks, the hedge funds. So, in any other video I'm going to be doing, in, including this one, I'm going to be applying the concept to multi time frame analysis. I'm going to be showing you how to do this, uh, apply confluence to your um, analysis. I'm not going to go back to explain those things. I'm just going to apply the charts. Uh, I will apply the tools I showed to you before using a multi time frame analysis and show you the area of confluence. Now, looking at this pair, this is a weekly time frame. Now, what's the first tool I measure for confluence? The first thing you should do each time you want confluence. Is a multi time frame analysis confluence where at least two or three time frame are in agreement to one direction. Now, looking at this pair, you got you okay. Let me delete this. Uh, looking at this pair, you can immediately see that this is this is what the market is supposed to do. Now, the market break below the structure area, it's supposed to retest the same structure area and go over to this overall target, this area here. Or at least a one to three weeks to reward but unfortunately the market broke below this area and broke back above it now why is the market being rejected now you can see uh, another resistance here rejected the market currently this is supposed to be an uptrend because it broke below here where it was supposed to be down trying broke back below it so it's currently being rejected by this resistance area so we are going to be monitoring this price for only for bear only if it break this resistance zone now going over to the four hour time sorry the daily time frame for the weekly we already see what we are looking for now let's see if the daily is in confluence with this now the market broke below this area is supposed to retest it for a downtrend unfortunately it broke back below it as you can see it retraced a bit which is impulse correction and the next impulse to the upside is about to start but it's being rejected by this resistance area we got from the weekly time frame that is why you see some bearish candle this red candles here now what are we going to be monitoring here we're going to be waiting for the price to retrace to at least this area here this resistance area as you can see this same resistance area it was rejected let me show you here Now, as you can see, it serves as resistance here. It serves as resistance here. It also serves as resistance here. Now, it serves as resistance here. As you can see, this is four resistance zone. So, this is a key level one resistance, two resistance, three resistance, fourth resistance. So, it has broken above the resistance area and now it's coming back to retest it for a support, resistance to support a key level. So, what are you expecting? We are expecting the market. To retest this support area and break this what resistance area we got from the weekly time frame. So you are going to be looking at this pair for a possible entry. If only it will come back to this region and close here. I go on the forward time frame to look for the, your entry if the rules of your entries are satisfied. There's one other thing I'm seeing from the weekly. Now I'm seeing uh, a confluence of trend line. Okay, this is a trend line. I can see a trend line here. Okay, let me get my trend line. This is what I'm seeing here. I can see a trend line here. So you can see this is an upward trend line. This is the first touch, second touch. So the market is about to move to the upside before it coming back for a third touch to make 
uh, the trend, trend line value. Now it, it has touched it twice according to our strategy for those in the students and the mentorship program we understand why I said this a three touch as you can see. This is the first touch from this week, another touch from this uh, bullish candle, another touch from this area, making it a valid trend line. So we are waiting for the market to move to the upside. So which confidence are we getting here now? We already got a multi-time frame confluence where the weekly and daily in agreement, which are also the four hour being agreement where we'll take our entry. We also get agreement from structures, which are I told you where I was explaining um, confluence that we still need to get uh, confluence from structures. Now, which structure? Well, which tools do we use to identify structure? Now, these are the tools. This uh, horizontal, um, this uh, box, this rectangle, and this rectangle here are the tools we use to identify our structure. So we also got multi time frame analysis from tools. And also, this horizontal ray, which we are also waiting for the market to retest this area before the push to the upside. As you can see, the trend line is already valid because it has how many touches. These are three touches here, and you can see the third, uh, the fourth touch here. So the market is currently on its way to the upside. So on the four-hour time frame, we believe once our entry is satisfied, we'll be looking for one of our possible entry to the upside if the rules of our entries are satisfied. So now, which other conflicts do we need to get again? Now, technically, we have gotten all the confluence we want: multi-time frame structures, tools. And uh, one other confluence we need to get is a confluence from what the Fibonacci retracement to. So we're going to take the Fibonacci retracement of the impulse, which is from the low to the high, and see which area is a confluence with uh, with the area we are uh, identifying. As you can see, this 0.382 is a confluence with this M area. You can see this area we are waiting for the market to re retrace to, which is a key level. The 0 0.382 is in confluence with it. So once the market gets to that area, there's every possibility that it won't go below it. Instead, it will move, uh, it will continue to move to the upside from this area. So that's a good confluence. In this way, we already, we already got confluence from all the tools technically and in a multi time frame analysis. So which confluence do we need to complete this um, setup? I know that it is ready for a long opportunity now the last confluence is the fundamental confluence i don't use the news from your news site like the forest factory university.com forest.com also so on and so forth no i use the cot data which everyone can use you can get it from the uh, the, the official website where the cot data are uploaded now i use the cot data to know if hedge funds are adding long or are adding short in this way i use other flow and follow the banks and the hedge funds the biggest institution the banks will follow them to go into the market we take trades with them with other flow and uh, move with them to make money so i'm not going to be adding the um fundamental aspect now why because first i want you to master the technical aspect because adding it for the matter aspect makes it more easier because already with, with hedge funds, you already know where the market is going, whether they added 1,000 logs. Now, if the longs are more than the short, you already know the market is going to log. So what you'll be doing, just follow it technically. But I want you to master the technical aspect, aspect because if you can trade technically, you can make money. But if you want to know it just fundamentally, it will be hard for you to master it technically because sometimes the hedge fund may be buying and the market will be selling for some reasons which I explain daily to my students. So um, I won't be adding it now. I will start adding it once the COT data is updated in our website. We are working on our website. We want to be updating the COT data there weekly for everyone who has access, access to our YouTube and Telegram to access the website as well because it's going to be coded with co uh, uh, password and uh, the password will only be given to those who have subscribed to our YouTube channel or those in our Telegram channel for free. Though it's meant for the student alone, but that is what I'm going to be giving out for free once I hit 1K subscribers. So help us share the link to your friends, subscribe and you know comment and uh, like so every confluence we need technically as we got in technically we already have uh, the confluence fundamentally we uh, we just need for we just need um our website to be updated so that for every analysis as do here concerning confluence 
I will just show you what the hedge funds are also doing and if we are going to be taking the trade or not. So this is all for now. The weekly forest focus will be published by Saturday. Stay tuned and also never don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share to your friends so as to be notified each time we upload a new video. Uh, this our detail, our contact details are in the description below. You can reach us through our website, our Telegram channel, Facebook page, or you can chat us directly with our contact details below. So this is all for now concerning Confluence. In our next video, I'll be showing you more about Confluence and we'll be doing more. We'll be analyzing more pairs using Confluence. Thank you.